On today's adventure into the swamps of South Louisiana, we're going to be searching for a baby pit viper. Whether it's a rattlesnake, very beautiful snake, I'd really love to find a bigger one while we're down here. A water moccasin. Wow, well that is a really cool looking moccasin. Or a copperhead. My aim today is to answer a question that I get a lot, which is are baby venomous snakes more dangerous than the adults? Well, we're about to find out. Also, before we get started, make sure to subscribe. We do wildlife videos every single week. And while you're at it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on this video. Thank you guys for watching, now let's get started. To find one of our target snakes in this region, it's best to search around old, dilapidated structures. Or anywhere else there's going to be lots of mice and other prey items for small vipers. I've actually never been to this region of Louisiana. It has a lot of the same things from where I live. There's a lot more old buildings. You can see behind me, a lot of pipes, a lot of things like that in these woods. Boy, it's just super nice. And see all of this right there? Snakes will live all up in there. This area is great for a particular snake species, copperheads. These snakes are insanely camouflaged, so I gotta watch where I step through here and make sure that I'm looking thoroughly under anything that I check. Oh, copper. I didn't see it. Tiny. I'll have a look at the snake. Very, very tiny copperhead. Now look at how camouflaged this snake is. This is a very tiny snake. It's winter time, so he's gonna be very chill. Ooh. He might be kinda hard to get up at the hook. I'll get him up on the tin to where y'all can kinda see him, because he's almost impossible to see on the leaf litter. Now baby snakes are said to be more dangerous than the adults. This is a long time myth that this snake would put more venom into you than an adult copperhead. And it is true that baby cop, that baby vipers will oftentimes use a bit more percentage of their venom. For instance, if this snake were to bite, he'd probably use up a lot of his venom. The reason is, is because he doesn't have a lot and he's scared. It is not true that these snakes can't control their venom at an early age. They actually can control their venom very early on. So when people ask me which is worse, a baby or an adult, by far, understandably, an adult venomous snake bite is always going to be worse. This snake would send me to the hospital. I would just go out of wanting to get that fixed, but this snake would most likely not kill me. If I had a bad reaction to the venom, I would probably end up having an amputation. You'd never want to put your hand on a snake like this. It's just a little viper. You have to give them their space. And you'll see I'm using my hook, I'm using sticks, I'm using all that stuff, and I'm not even moving them too far away. I'm not picking them up or messing with them. I'm not playing with this snake. All I'm doing He's coming right here, showing you guys the animal, and telling you baby vipers are not going to be as dangerous as the adults. That's just naturally how it is. There's been a lot of conspiracy and myth about that, and it's very simple. Baby snake doesn't have as much venom, and that's just how it is. And copperheads in general do have a more mild venom, but they are still considered a dangerous snake. While there have been very few deaths, there have been deaths from copperheads in recent years. In fact, one of the last deaths was from a baby copperhead, which is very wild, very rare, and very unfortunate. And I hate to see stuff like that happen. You know, these snakes are super camouflaged. It's very easy to get bit by them if you step on them. So all I'm doing is kind of raising some level of awareness for these little guys to where you know to watch out for them, to where you don't get bit by them. Baby ones still deserve your respect. They can mess you up, but definitely less likely to kill you than an adult copperhead. Really beautiful snake. We're gonna go ahead and put this one back under its tin. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out the double copperhead that we filmed over in Mississippi. Really cool snakes there. We will see you guys next time. All right, see you little buddy.